Want to do an EDC update. It's kind of been a while since I've done one. Plus I had a lot of changes recently. Kind of going old school with the knife stuff. And I'll be talking about that in a little bit. But first let me get a couple things out of the way. Wallet is still the same. Still using this big skinny wallet. I will have a review on this eventually. Um, it's held together great. I really only have one slight problem with it. And that's the in interior money pocket. There's like a divider and it's super thin. So it's kind of a pain about to get the money in and out. But besides that, it's a fantastic wallet. It really does slim down your stuff. I have the same amount of stuff I used to have in my wallet in there, all kinds of crap. Um, but it is a, a much thinner profile overall. So couldn't be happier with the big skinny wallet. So let me get that one out of the way. As far as keys, keys are pretty much the same since the last time you saw them. Main car key, which I keep separate. So if I'm not driving my car from driving a work vehicle or if I'm not driving anywhere, I'll take that off so I don't have the bulk. So I like that, just quick uh, detach option. Um, of course, my Color Lover Spider Co. Very nice. Love this one. Very cool. I believe that's the Grasshopper. The Pico Widgie Bar. And that's pretty much in uh, Ways and Tools. Then I just have a couple keys. So that didn't really change too much. Um, firearm. A forearm. Put that holster off to the side. We're going to be talking about this holster because today is the last day I'm going to be carrying that. So here's the, uh, the Glock 36. See, nothing in there. Obviously, magazine's out, so we're safe. Um, have six rounds, 45 ACP. These are the only single stack magazines, the only single single stack Glock, for that matter. And I've also been carrying a spare magazine. So I have another six rounds. I keep this in my back left pocket. Um, when I go to sit down to drive, uh, I do swap this into my front left pocket, just because it's too much of a, an awkward thing to be sitting on. But yeah, I've been carrying a spare magazine just because I happen to have one. I figured why not? It's good to have there. And um, without the rounds in there, I've been doing kind of a dry run in uh, trying to do reloads. Where basically I would empty both these magazines out, make sure the gun's nice and cleared and safe. You know, and then I'll put one magazine in and do a dry fire. Drop the mag out, reach into the back pocket, put the new one in, you know, rack the slide. And uh, just do some different dry runs like that. So I am kind of used to some of the muscle memory if I were to need a spare magazine, which is so, it's so rare. But you know what, hey, I have it, so why not start carrying, right? So I'm carrying uh, two magazines there. As far as the holster, this is the holster I was telling you guys about that I absolutely fell in love with. This holster is 50 bucks. It's a really nice custom holster. Um, here's the guy's card. I'm gonna be reviewing this. That's why I um, stopped carrying it for a little while because I have another holster I wanna try to uh, start carrying and review. But here's the information, it's Clark Fork Leather. There's the uh, email and phone number and his website if you wanna check him out. But I'm telling you, this is probably one of the best, if not the very best holster that I've personally ever used for 50 bucks. Um, this is not the review of this, but it's just, it's rigid, attention to detail. It works great, it broke in very nicely. As far as the belt loops on here, it fed through very easily. It's, it's already preformed and everything when I got it. It was just, it's a beautiful holster. It really, really works well. I'm very happy with it. So we'll be talking more about that in the future. I will have a review on that very soon. So that's pretty much that. Um, leave that like that so everyone feels nice and safe and cozy. Um, front right pocket, I've been carrying the Leatherman Wingman. Just because it's a great multi-tool. I've been on a multi-tool kick lately. Just did that video on it. Comes in handy. It's fantastic. I love that this particular model has the pocket clip. So I carry it just like a knife. Just like so. And I pull it out. Treat it like a uh, you know tip down folder because this is uh, my backup folder and no matter what I still need a knife clipped to my pocket now I've been carrying this knife as well as uh, two other ones I've been rotating between them because I'm going to eventually do reviews on them I'll show you that in just a second but um, having a knife my folder in a sheath is still something I don't do often it's still somewhat new to me so I have to have a knife some kind of knife clip to my front right pocket. It just, it, I don't feel right if I don't, if it's not there, I feel naked. It's just really weird. I've always had one since I was nine years old now, so I just can't go without. But um, I do reserve this blade as a backup blade. I don't, it's not my go-to blade. It just happens to be there. It makes me feel comfortable that's there. But this is a, a fantastic multi-tool, carries well. Absolutely love it. But this has been my main knife that I've been using, and this is a Schrade. Now, I also have two other ones I've been swapping out of all three of them. They all came with three different sheaths. This is the best, best sheath of all three, but even so, um, I have other sheaths that are a little bit better, so I might swap out. But just want to carry this old school, 
very old school knife. It's not, you know, the brand new tactical overbuilt folder that everyone wants, but I love it. Um, this happens to be the 60T. Now this is new school um, Schrade, all right? I have my grandfather's Schrade sharp finger from way back when, I'm like the, I don't even know when he got this knife, but he's had it many, many years. Love this thing. Awesome little multi-purpose uh, fixed blade. Of course, he actually used it for skinning. He used to do a lot of rabbit hunting and stuff like that. I mean, when he was younger, his family literally hunted for their dinner. If you didn't find any rabbits or, or deer or anything like that, then you didn't eat. So he was a, a real hunter. And in his later years, he ended up loving nature and he couldn't hunt anymore. Once he got to be uh, an old dude, he just uh, didn't see it. And he loved to watch nature as opposed to kill it. But of course, most of his life, it was a necessity. He didn't have one feeling or another. He was hungry, so he had to go hunt. It's kind of an old school mentality, but anyway, I love this knife. I love that it used to be his. Of course, it's very sentimental to me, but it's a fantastic knife design in general. Nice and cute point. I like the upswept blade, a lot of belly here, you know, for slicing. Um, but this is the old school Schrade. Now, since they've changed hands, Schrade is under the Taylor Cutlery brand. And I got a bunch of Schrade knives and old timer knives to uh, test out. And these happen to be some of the new ones. So this is new school Schrade. So here's an old timer. I believe this is the 60T, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, it is. And this is my favorite of all three, the ironwood uh, scales here. Simple lock back, little clip point, well, not little, a fairly large clip point blade here. Great lock up, just old school. I absolutely love it. Um, like I said, it's nothing crazy and new. It's not the new $400 custom tactical, whatever. This is uh, simple. This is also cheap, all right? The other two, very similar designs. There's this one, which I believe is a 70T. Nope, still a 60T, just a different setup with that kind of old saw cut um, handle scales here. Same knife, just different setup with the scales. Single bolster lockbacks, clip point blade. And then this one is just a double bolster. And this is the 70T, if I'm correct, yeah. So same deal, just so you have a dual bolster on this. This is also that saw cut type pattern, old timer. So very cool. Still uh, getting a hang of uh, using these things. These two still have their factory edge. Only carried uh, this one once. This one didn't carry yet. This one I've been carrying using a lot. I uh, hit it on a strop. So a little bit of a polished edge on there. Let's see it over here just a little bit. But just been using the heck out of this thing and I love it. It's fantastic. It's just such a different feel when you take a knife out like this and use it. You know, it's just so, I don't know, it's classy. Love knives like this. I also have some some tactical knives from Schrade, which you guys, I saw a little preview of, or you saw a little preview of. And if you like overbuilt knives, trust me, for like 20, 25 bucks, these things are friggin' awesome. But that's for a future, future discussion. So yeah, I'm gonna have lots of reviews on some Schrade stuff. I also have two machetes from them and a couple fixed blades, so. You'll definitely see some more affordable knife reviews in the very near future, but I have to get some use on that kind of stuff before I review it. But this one's been my favorite knife as of late. Just very classy. I love the ironwood. It's really, really cool looking. Um, just super smooth. Great lockup on this. No blade play at all. And of course, uh, razor sharp after a little bit of a uh, little work. Came nice and sharp, but not, not to my standard, of course. But you can't go wrong with a knife like this. I'm telling you these things, you just can't break them. You can't beat them up. There's no, you know, old school lockback like this. They just don't fail. You really rarely have any problems with expensive ones or cheap ones. It's just the old school design, you know, brass frame, simple scales like this. It's really cool. So this has been my preferred knife as of late. And I carry this on my left side and only because I have the gun. If I didn't have the gun, I would carry this on my right side because I'm right side dominant but I like to have access to my gun. I don't like to keep a lot of things around the gun area, so if I do have to go to draw or something, it's very cleared. I don't like to have anything in the way. But I have this on my off side, and then when I need to use it, in the beginning it was very awkward, you know, just use my left hand. I rarely grab anything with my left hand. But, you know, popping the sheath, taking the knife out, and then once I took the knife out, I kind of just put it in my right hand as I open the blade up. And of course, these have a nice stiff lock back on them. So um, it is a two-hand operation here. You know, it's gonna be very, it's too, backspring is too heavy to shake these open comfortably. You'd end up throwing the knife across the room. Um, not as much blade exposed to kind of push down and use that pressure to open it. So it is a old school two-handed opening. But if I need to get to a knife quickly, I need it one-handed and that's of course why I still have this on me. So it's very easy to retract and get that blade out if need be. But anyway, 
that's been the uh, setup as far as uh, knives and tools and guns go. Now, as far as uh, electronics, still have my regular cell phone, which I love, iPhone 4. Now, I have this little piece, this little doohickey, which I've been carrying lately. This is cool. I recently got a, uh, an iPad, iPad mini. And I went online and I got a case, which I might review, this iPad case, which I like, but the same company also had these little styluses. They kind of plug in the bottom of your uh, iPhone, you pop them off, and basically, it serves two purposes. One, it, it encloses your charging port, so you don't have to uh, worry about getting dust and stuff in there. And then, of course, when you turn your phone on, <laughs> look at that freaking classy dog right there. Um, you use the rubber tip as a stylus. All right, so a little stylus action here. It's very easy. Take pictures, do whatever you have to do. Let's see. Um, let's go to calculator. 69 plus 69 equals good times. All right, so it's so if you don't want to really smudge your screen, if you're one of those weird people that don't like fingerprints and stuff or greasy screens, it's just easy to do that. So that's pretty much it. So I like this thing. Like I said, if anything, it's keeping my clean screen and just plugs in there. So, you know, so far I've had no problems with it. It hasn't popped off or anything. I've only been carrying about a week and a half though, but it stays nice and tight. Um, I don't always use it. Sometimes I'm just so used to just grabbing the phone and, and turning it on and just going at it with the thumb. But if I do remember, I pop it off and it's good. I actually prefer this a lot more with the iPad mini. So like I'm consciously using it the whole time and it is very comfortable to use. And it does stay nice and secure on there. So, and they're super, super cheap. But I'll do a review on this and probably the iPhone cover at a later date. I'm still kind of fooling around and playing with those stuff. That's pretty much it for like my EDC update. I will eventually start carrying this. The reason I got this thing is because I wanted to have the capability of bringing this with me, not only for communication purposes, but for, for notes, to have the internet accessible on a larger format. Um, so I knew once I was going to get the iPad mini that I would transition into carrying a man bag i have plenty of gear bags all kinds of backpacks and you know, i have some expedition gear and I, I got all kinds of stuff that i can basically carry this as well as open myself up to a whole new world of crap and what i mean by crap is awesome man toys so <laughs> lots of gear and lots of fun stuff to have on me so basically what i'm trying to say is i'm eventually carry a bob i'll have the uh, ipad mini in there for just my daily functions, leave notes for myself. I can set the alarms for things. Just so I'm a little bit more organized. But with that, because I'm gonna have a pack with all these different carry options, of course, I'll load up with all kinds of goodies. I'll carry spare magazines, I'll carry spare knives. You'll see me with probably a couple of flashlights, all kinds of crap. So at one point in my life, um, probably two years ago, I carried a, a Bob everywhere with me. I mean, I had the Versi pack, the, the original Versi pack. Um, I carried for maybe four months and just, I use it all the time. And eventually I felt like, you know what, why am I carrying all this stuff around? I don't always use this stuff. It's kind of a, a bothersome thing to do. And then I downgraded to basically just back to the pockets. But I think I might go back to uh, carrying the bag. Like I said, if I do something like that, I have more options for maybe a backup gun in the bag. Most of the gear I have have a hidden, you know, concealed carry um, section on the bag. I do like the idea of having the uh, mini iPad with me at all times for, for various reasons, not just, you know, personal, but for business. So it could be very uh, beneficial for me. So stay tuned for that. Possibly my next uh, EDC update, you'll see me rocking some kind of bag and all kinds of goodies. Plus it makes for a better video <laughs> because the longer the better. I love EDC videos. It happens to be one of my favorite things on YouTube. I love seeing what people carry, how they carry it, and talking about why they carry it and different reasons and different uses they can have for stuff that they, uh, you know, they own and enjoy. So anyway, that's pretty much it. Just rocking uh, some old school knives here. Really, really loving them. Um, could not be happier. You will see, like I said, a review on this holster very, very soon. Then I will put this away for the time being. I do love this holster and I'll, I'll use it myself personally. Outside of YouTube, outside of reviewing, this is a holster I'll always have as long as I have this gun. I love this setup. But there is a separate holster, which is also very nice, which I want to review. So I have to start carrying that and using it so I can get a review done eventually. So we'll talk about that in the future. But for now, thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day. And uh, I know there's no more video responses, but hey, if you got your own EDC videos and you're proud of them, you wanna show off all the stuff that you carry, write in the comments that you have an EDC video <laughs> and ask people very politely 
to check out your videos and some people might. So there you go. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Hope you enjoy the rest of your day and I will see you soon. Take care guys.